Hello and welcome to Non-Stop Wrestling Chat. My name is Barry and today we're here to talk about a pretty good night of wrestling. Smackdown and Rampage, or Smackdown versus Bayern Rampage, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Don't forget to go to the comments below, let me know what you thought about last night. Did you enjoy Smackdown? Did you enjoy Rampage? The Bayern, it's on YouTube. What did you enjoy? What was your favourite match of the night? And while you're down there, hit like, subscribe and that beautiful notification bell because I can see that 37% of you guys that are watching this are not subscribed. What are you doing? Get subscribed. Uh, so <laughs> let's get into today's show. So, starting with Smackdown, as we always do, we kick off with Edge starting the show, which was fun. Good talker. I enjoyed it. King of the Ring semi-final, Finn Balor versus Sami Zayn. These guys always put on a good match, but it's a 2.5 stars. I'm not interested in King of the Ring anymore. I put a video yesterday about my th what happened to King of the Ring and the Queen Crown's Queen's Crown, whatever the hell it's called, uh, tournaments. The how good it was before King of the Ring in the olden days compared to now. Um, definitely go check it out when I was younger. No olden days. Uh, go check that video out as well. But Balor got a win here. Good match. Nothing special. Like I say, I don't really care about the King of the Ring. Handicap match. Naomi versus. Deville and Baszler. Deville and Baszler got the win. I'm going to give this a one star. The angle was there. It's setting up to stuff in the future. A little bit of storytelling. So I did enjoy it, but it just wasn't... It didn't really do anything. And it's kind of this this first half of this show felt like it didn't really do anything. We've got Seth Rollins talking, which was fine. He takes so long to get to his point. It's just like, just get to the point. Instead of you going round and round, just point... Give me the bullet notes, the bullet points and leave me, leave me be. Uh, Queen's Crown semi-final, Camilla versus Zelina Vega. Vega gets the win, as expected here. It was a dud, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> the street fight for the SmackDown Tag Team titles, the Usos versus the Street Profits. Usos get the win. Uh, three stars for this. I really, really enjoyed this. Given it was a TV street fight for WWE, it was actually pretty good. I thought it was actually fun. Um, and I'm surprised at how good it was. Then we got Becky Lynch versus Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks gets a win. Three stars here. These guys have had better enc encounters in the past. But this was still a fun match. Um, probably match of the night from SmackDown for me. But there was something missing from it. And then we got the contract signing from Roman. Uh, Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns doing the, the kind of contract signing. See... Story of two halves in SmackDown now. The first half wasn't that good, but then what felt like when they started to go up against the AEW, they were putting on a little bit better of a show, and that's what I'm going to talk about at the end of this, guys. So, overall, 2.5 stars for this match, eh, for this show. Pretty fun show. Nothing really special. Banks getting the win was a surprise. It wasn't the best SmackDown, but it was fun. It had some stuff there that worked very well, um, some stuff that didn't, but I enjoyed it. So AEW, we had the starting from the buy-in, we'll go through that and then we'll go through Rampage. Buy-in with Tay Conti versus Garrett. Tay Conti gets a win. One star here. Short match, done nothing really. The fans are into Conti. Um, that's about it. Lee versus Bobby Fish. Uh, this was okay, guys. It wasn't anything mega special. Um, yeah, I just don't think it was anything really... Like, I don't know, it didn't feel mega special to me at all. Uh, I'm not a big Bobby Fish fan. And that's the thing as well. See, a lot of guys that are going to AEW, I wasn't a huge fan of them in WWE or when they were on the indies. But I'm starting to get to like them, especially the next guy, which we're going to be, uh, we'll need to deep dive into a little bit. But um, aye. Bobby Fish got the win here, by the way. <laughs> then we got Brian Danielson versus Suzuki. Danielson gets the win. Fine. Four stars. Fantastic match. As I told you, I think the guy's a dick. I don't think he's... I don't really like his storytelling in WWE. I don't think he's as good as everybody makes it. But he is good in the ring. He's fantastic in the ring, um, to come to that point. And this was a fantastic match. Um, AEW's really made me kind of want to this guy a little bit more. But, um, fantastic match, and I enjoyed it. So CM Punk versus Matt Seidel. Uh, that was, do you know, I gave us a 3.5 stars. It was, it was a good match. Punk obviously got the win here. Um, what I did like is commentary talking about the history between these two guys. I thought that was really, really fun. And it just gave something, added something to the match. 
Bunny versus Ruby Soho. Soho gets a win. Obviously, two stars. A perfectly fine match. Nothing amazing. Just a perfectly fine, okay match. Then we got Inner Circle versus Man of the Year Junior DeSantos. Um, Man of the Year Junior DeSantos get the win here. It was good. Again, 2.5. Nothing amazing. It was a good, good match. So as you can see, AEW had a cool two middle matches. There's CM Punk, Matt Seidel, Danielson and Suzuki. They stole the sh- stole the night for me, to be honest with you. But overall, I'm going to say three stars for AEW, including the buy-in. Three stars. Just Rampage, I would say 2.5. But um, it was a fun... It was a fun match. A fun fun show. Both shows, I thought, were pretty enjoyable. And, uh, look, see, to be honest with you guys, it's not about a war between these people or WWE's better than AEW, AEW's better than WWE. It's not about any of that. We've all seen... Uh, the guys that are my age or older remember WCW and it leaving and it's horrible there was nothing there there was just WWE and it was just that wrestling that's all you got and especially when you were younger you were only getting independence the internet wasn't as accessible as it is today so you were only going to get all these independent shows from all different places it just it. I don't want these guys to go to business and the best thing is here we're winning as fans. So cut all the bullshit about moaning about AEW had these many people or WWE had this many people. Who cares? It's a great time to be a wrestling fan again. We are literally watching good wrestling shows again. And it's fun. WWE are trying hard. And I wouldn't even be surprised if WWE and AEW have been in contact with each other to create a little bit of buzz about this war that they're going to have. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised at all. I think it would be fantastic to see both these guys doing this kind of stuff, taking shots at each other, and it just creates a buzz. It's no petty, it's no silly, it's fun. And it creates something for us to get into and to enjoy. That's the point of wrestling, guys. It creates emotion as much as when you watch a match and it doesn't it doesn't do anything for you, it doesn't create... You can watch the greatest technical match in wrestling history, but if that doesn't create emotion inside somebody, it doesn't do anything for anybody. We all know it's a work. The whole point is to create emotion in somebody and that's what makes wrestling good. Right now, it's creating emotion. If you remember back in WCW, WWF days, it was the exact same thing and we're doing it again and I'm fucking happy for it. I'm happy to be able to sit here on a Friday and enjoy fantastic wrestling from some of the best talents in the world and then obviously we've got Rampage tomorrow as well. I even Raw, like, it's not the best show but it's still got great talent on it. It's a fun time to be a wrestling fan again. And do you know as well, guys, it's it's us that win. At the end of the day, we win as wrestling fans. And that's the best thing. So, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, guys. I'm away to, well, go to work. <laughs> and I'll see you back here tomorrow for Rampage. And I've got a watch along for Vince McMahon against uh, Undertaker at Survivor Series 2003. See you later, guys.